right, good evening, and welcome to the Thursday, November 3rd, 2022 Planning Board meeting. I'd like everyone to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, so introduction to board members. To the far, to my far left, we have Polly Matucci, Jerry Graybill, myself, Michael LaRue. We have Phil Roy and Matt Henry. Um, we have Dave Andreessen, the planner and code enforcement technician. Got it. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to open the first public comment section up. Is anyone open to anyone in the town? Open to the town? Yeah. Hey, Ed, just you step, to the step up and then just say your name and your address. Yeah, my name's William Stofan. I got the business over here on Two Bow Street, Main Medical Canna Connection. And I wanted to see about getting on the agenda to see about taking the other building and turn it into Main Canna Connection Recreation. And that's why I wanted to see if I could get on and have a meeting before I leave, because I go overseas for three months in the winter, and I, I wanted to see if I could get this started before I leave. Okay. Um, that's something you'll have to talk with Dave about, um, and then just do it through a regular, just go to the town hall and talk with Dave and discuss that, and then yeah, that we can... Yeah, good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Alex Pulver, 257 Oldfields Road in South Berwick. Um, I own the One Salton Square building where the gym and uh, Corner Point Brewing is. And I just had more of a general question about um, when, when I went in front of the planning board originally for it was the first uh, multi use business, I think, that Berwick had seen come in front of the planning board, and it was kind of new for everyone. And when I opened the fitness, the fitness center was part of that package when, when, we, opened, when we went through that process. Of course, it not, didn't end up opening for years after that, mm -hmm. um, but it was still part of that package. And when I proposed it, there was a lot of um, trepidation from the town in regards to having a 24-7 gym because there was nothing in town that was 24-7 and nothing remotely like that. It was a new use for a new space in town. Um, I have a lot of people who work at the shipyard who would love to work out. Right now I'm open from 4 a.m. until midnight. And there's a lot of people from the shipyard who are interested in working out in that four-hour window that I'm, that I'm closed. Um, I didn't know because I was originally in front of the planning board and had opening hours, during, which are a little unorthodox, um, if I need to schedule another planning board meeting with you guys to change my operating hours or how does it work, you know, like if I want to make a change to that business, um, I figured while I'm here, I might as well stand up and ask a question. You would go through uh, the town manager and the town manager would uh, make that determination. You want to do 24 hours a day? Yes. Okay. The town manager would okay. basically sign off on it. Okay. So talk to James. Okay. Um, and to, to follow up with with, uh, with Bill, I own the, the building that he's in um, there also. And um, I looked at land use ordinance before I came tonight, um, and I was wondering how it works with recreational. Is that something we can talk so, about now or not I'm, really? Because it's all X's I'm across that I'm pretty sure on the table it's all X's. that rec, rec is not allowed in the downtown zone. It's also not it's allowed only, anywhere, though, if I look correctly. Only on School Street and was it Route 4? That's, small section. It's a small section. Very small Two section. Uh, I must have missed the part of the that has a map of some sort that has it listed. There's I a, in the, there's the, a the table. Lake, the, yeah, it's not it was, in the same spot as all the. Oh, the, it's not the other it's in the tables. Yeah, understood. Because then I, I knew there was nothing allowed there, and but yeah. I knew there's a few in town, and yeah. I couldn't figure out how that works. So yeah. there's a separate table somewhere buried in there. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll look harder. Okay, that's it for me. All right. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Yep, just state your name and your address. <clears throat> Excuse me. My name is Karen Mullane, and I live at 47 Alley Pond Road. And I understand that there's a site review for a subdivision proposal. And I'm here to just follow the process. Um, I'm very interested in it because I am in a butter. 
Um, there are endangered species in the area, and I'm just hoping that that conservation is respected. So I'm following okay. the process. That's all. Okay, thank you. Okay, anyone else? All right, I'm going to close this public comment. Uh, there's no scheduled public hearings today, so next will be approval of minutes. We're going to start with the September 15, 2022. Having reviewed the minutes for September 15, 2022, I see no errors and no reason why we should not approve. I will make a motion to approve those. I'll second that. Okay, for the discussion, all in favor? Aye. And then, Jerry, you weren't here, so you're abstaining. Okay. So. I'm sorry, that was motioned by Phil, and who was the second? Paul. Paul? Yeah. And then there was one abstain, Jerry. Thank you. Okay. The next one is Thursday, October 20th, 2022. Um, I will be abstaining because I was not here. I see no errors. Uh, it's an accurate reflection of the meeting that we had. I would make a motion to approve as drafted. I'll second that motion. Okay, further discussion? All in favor? All right. Okay, there we go. Okay, so next uh, we're going to be moving to the findings of fact 420 School Street, tax map R54, lot 15, building B. Dave, I think the only issue we had with those was the, uh, we were, last go around, I think we were just looking for clarity if they cleaned up the uh, oil tanks and issues they had off to the side. I think that was the only outlier, and I think we have verified that they did that. Yep. All right. As of weeks ago. Right? What's that? As of weeks ago. I yeah. believe so, yeah. So this is just approving the findings of facts. And that's it. Okay. That's all that it is. Okay. I'll um, make a motion that we approve the findings of facts. I will. I will second. Okay. Further discussion. All in favor. Okay. Next is findings of fact 420 School Street tax map R54 lot 15 building D. And that was basically the same thing. We we're just waiting to make sure the uh, stuff was taken care of. Um, it appears they've met all the requirements. Uh, I'll, I'll make a motion to approve as drafted. Second. Okay. Further discussion. All in favor? Okay. Is that it? Who is that second? J uh, Paul. Okay, so next is request for revisit of subdivision condition of approval, 115 Old Pine Hill Road, tax map U47, lot 47, LRB leasing. Les, come on up. Good evening. I appreciate you guys uh, giving me a minute. Yeah. So just to recap, I know you weren't here last meeting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, I watched the last oh, meeting, okay. so I'm, I'm all up to date. Um, I've watched... Um, what Les has an issue with, and I've talked to James, and it seemed like the 75 foot would be fine. It's fair, and it, it covers both. Um, the only thing, the waiver was for Old Pine Hill Road, and when you do the added the lot, it it changes. You still have to go by the subdivision regulations of that, and that's where the sidewalk on Pine Hill Road comes from. Yeah, so, I mean, as I stated in the meeting, I mean, I'm happy to continue. Yeah, 200 to the feet was way line. too much. And that was an error, and 75 feet seemed like it was more fair. Outstanding. Okay. So that, that was more of a, what, 11,000? Yeah, somewhere 11,250 or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, and then it's just the conditions of approval, accepting the conditions of approval. For this? Yes. That was a separate item that, that, that was, he that brought was before the town board. So okay. I, I will make it's already been approved. Okay. Yeah. So this is this just is going to be amendment. Oh, okay. 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 So we don't need a motion. So we it's need just to make it. Yeah. I would vote on it, I, but it needs to be an amendment. I think we should. I think okay. you should. Yeah. I'll make a motion to amend uh, the requirement that it's only 75 feet of 
frontage that you're required to fund for the sidewalk. And I have gotten word from the town manager that he will provide you with written documentation so it goes in the file and you, you are protected on that Excellent. as well. Yeah, I, I'll second that. Okay, further discussion? All in favor? Okay, thank you, Les. Thank you, John. That is easy. <laughs> All right, new business. Sketch plan review, 57 Old Route 4, Altus Engineering, tax map, R62, Lot 7. Bear with me for one second. Yep. <laughs> A little bit more forwards because that camera is going to be looking at it. Right there. All right, thank you. This was Wentworth, right? No, this is Old Roof 4. Yep. yep. All right. All right. Good evening, everybody. Uh, for the record, my name is Eric Sowery from Altus Engineering in Portsmouth. I'm here on behalf of the applicant, Steve Brown. Uh, owns this property here on Old Route 4 and Wentworth Road. I'm here today with Troy Williams. He's the realtor for the project. He represents uh, Mr. Brown. I also have Isaiah Plant from Kimball Survey and Design. He's the project surveyor. Um, what you have in front of you is a very simple frontage subdivision. Uh, eight lots on a it's almost 51-acre parcel. Uh, it is split zone. It's R3 and RCI. Um, so we've got Six lots along Wentworth Road and Old Route 4 and a private right-of-way to access two of them out in the back. Uh, the property is primarily field right now, uh, although there is some forest on the plan. It will be in the upper left-hand corner. Uh, it's pretty wet in the back there, but everything up front is all upland. Uh, we have passing test pits uh, everywhere. Um, no new road or anything, so no new public infrastructure that anybody has to maintain in the future. Uh, we will need a conditional use permit to allow residential use in the RCI zone. Um, that's it in a nutshell, really. So we're just here to gauge the board's opinion on it and see if you guys have any comments, condemnations, uh, anything you want to throw at it. Just, a, I got a question for you. Yeah. Uh, that, um, how do you separate the RCI district from the rest of it? it it's just, that's where the line showed up. So it's sort is, of split. Is that that line that's right there? That diagonal line. That's the diagonal line. But yeah, we're right, yeah. right Okay, there. so you're half and half. It's, it's half and half. Okay. So which is which? Which is R3? R3 is this side. Yeah. Okay. So the old Route 4 side, towards Route 4. Okay. Is okay. Um, and given what's in the neighborhood, it's it's all residential. No one's going to put a commercial use back there. It's just not going to happen. Um, so I think the highest and best use is single family. Yep. Yeah, I think having the road, the front edge makes it right off that road, so there's no no added roads to it. I think it fits pretty good in that yeah. spot. These are pretty big lots, too, yeah. so they're four five or five acres. acres. Yeah. Pretty yeah. good size, so it's going to maintain the character. We hope. This last drawing, is this the, the circles on here? Does that annotate the test pits? or what? The, Those big circles are the wells. Oh, the wells, okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah, if, if, on, you really can't really see it on the 8.5 by 11, gotcha. obviously, but if you were to zoom yeah. way in, you could see the test pits. I've got little blue squares. Okay, actually, I, I can actually see those now, okay. Right yep. Yeah. And those are just where we ended up with the pits. But obviously, a private homeowner could move it wherever they wanted to on mm -hmm. the lot as long as it needs to step back to the well. Um, no well radii across the lot line. It's all self Nice. These will be uh, private septic? Yes. Okay. Yep. What's the time frame on this? Well, do you want to approve it tonight? <laughs> <laughs> time frame for That's once approved. Yeah. Uh, I, I would think that uh, it would take about a month or two to do the legal side of it and then start selling lots sometime this winter if we get approval okay. in December or January. So that would be ideal. So house construction next spring would mm -hmm. be the target. Nice. So is there a, an in-house construction company? No, no. Okay. This, this Steve does not build houses as far as I know. No, he doesn't. Okay. Any other questions? No? Awesome. Okay. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Thank you. All right, so moving along, sketch plan review, Alley Pond Road, Altus Engineering, tax map R7 and R8, lot 1-11. Well, for the record again, Eric Sowery from Altus Engineering, same cast of characters. This one is a little bit different. 
Um, this is a 56-acre piece, also in R3, and it touches on two previously constructed subdivisions, Alley Pond Road and Johnny Lane. Uh, I want to say they were done in the early 2000s. Um, there is a man-made fire pond on this site, which you can see on the blue there. That has a dry hydrant in there, and there's an access easement for the fire department to get down in there. Um, over the past few years, Steve has cut out two lots, and now we need to go for formal subdivision approval uh, for the rest of them. Uh, you can see the two lots. One's uh, Mrs. Moulin, who spoke earlier. This one here, and I believe this one was the other one. Um, there's two configurations we've got here. One is uh, conventional. Uh, that would involve a couple of cul-de-sacs just to show you the yield. That's not our preferred layout. If you want us to go that route, we can. But we'd rather do conservation open space sort of cluster layout, which is this one here. Um, this allows the same number of house lots, which would be 11 house lots, uh, but it preserves 69% of the property. Mm -hmm. So it puts aside almost 39 acres into conservation, which we think is the, the way to go here. Mm -hmm. um, the roads, there are woods roads all throughout here, through this parcel, all the other abutting parcels that Steve owns, and he's been improving those roads uh, to the point where the majority of the road here is ready for pavement. It's ready to rock. So about that. Oh yeah, there's there's some there things going on. There needs to be there. inspections of the road yep. through the code enforcement and make sure that they're in the right spots, that yep. they're not endangering the wildlife that's in there that's endangered. Um, we just want to make sure that that's noted. Um, oh, ab absolutely. You've heard that that road's been started and you shouldn't be starting it until you have approval. I agree with you. Uh, okay. Mr. Brown ha has been made aware of these yep. concerns uh, by myself and the rest of the team. Um, he knows it. Um, I think he was too far along to stop at that point. I don't think he's going to pave for those exact reasons. I think these are going to stay private roads, though. So I don't know if we necessarily need a town inspection. Um, is, is that? You do. Yeah. You do? Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. You do, because if you're going to have E911 access, you do. Yeah. Got mm -hmm. it. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. The, the other thing, just be prepared for the, the question, because... We will have the, the fire chief also take a look at the proposed plan to make sure he can get an apparatus in there. Yes, yeah, for yeah, you know, absolutely. Safety it, and wellness of your future. Yeah, the, for, the for folks everybody. Are buying yeah. in, into the, in, the, in, in this particular case, obviously, with the road. It does. It changes the, with the, the width requirement. The width requirement have changed recently for what he likes to okay, see. Okay, so, so what is the new I think width? they used to be 24 feet. Yeah. And I think they're 26 now. Yeah, it's paved 26? Feet, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is that something you would be willing to waive? Given the, with the we just, not, not because it's brand new, we, right? Yeah, it's, <laughs> they, we just <laughs> accepted that. Um, okay. That's easy enough. I mean, obviously, it's not for, paved yet. For this site, the cluster would fit better. Yeah. Uh, I would yeah. think that most of us on the board would agree with that, that the cluster yeah. design, it keeps the green space more. Yeah and it brings all the houses together. Yep. Yeah, I, I, I agree. It's definitely the way to go. Um, okay. As far as fire department access, obviously with new roads, they're significantly upgraded from what was there before. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there's mm -hmm. no doubt that it's better, um, but it's definitely something we'll run past the fire chief. Um, there have been some rumors about some illicit wetland impacts associated with this. It's something that we're going to investigate, okay. obviously. Um, I spoke with the Army Corps of Engineers today, so it's on their radar. Okay. Um, we also are looking into the endangered species. Uh, I know there was one hit off the way off the property out towards where Alley Pond meets Long Swamp, okay. there was a snake. I think it was the Northern Black Racer years and years ago. There was one sighting. The map has a radius around it that barely touches this property. And then farther off the site, way off that way, it's really swampy. And there's another hit in there, but I don't know what it is yet. Okay. So we're going to reach out to IFNW and also NAP to see if they've got anything endangered in the neighborhood and see what, what they've got Perfect. and take it from there. Okay. So. From a state permitting standpoint, we only need a PBR, so we don't have to go through the regular stormwater or site location process, which is great because we don't have a year to waste. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, because that's how long it takes up DDP mm -hmm. these days. This project will be on city water, or, or will this be wells as these, well? This would be wells and septic. This would be well. wells and septic mm -hmm. as well. Yep. Okay. A little, little bit tighter, but uh, I believe that we've got pits on every lot, um, so it will work. Mm -hmm. So we'll probably have some, some well radius overlaps. We'll have to have well releases and whatnot. So this will be a little more complicated in terms of legal documentation, but it's nothing that Pat Bedard can't handle. And this is going to be part of a major subdivision? I, I think it triggers your it major. it's attached to others? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Open it up. For Hannah? Yes. Okay, did, Hannah, do you have anything to comment on that? Um, not much. Pretty much covered everything I would have said. Um, one question I do have for clarification, though, 
Um, the road, the part right extending off of where Alley Pond Road currently exists, um, it shows on the plan the road kind of curving into the lots in the front. Is that going to be changed to be following the right of way or? It, it's what? already been, it's already been changed. The road okay. is where the right of way is. That's how I designed okay. it. Um, the little path that goes out and around was the old wood road, old woods road. Gotcha. Okay. And then the uh, driveway essentially in lot 11, is that going to be improved as part of your project or would that be for whoever purchases that lot? That, that would be for whoever purchases it. Uh, okay. It's there now. Um, that's one of those areas we're going to look at potentially for an illicit wetland impact. Um, okay. But it will be the lot owner's responsibility. Okay. Other than that, that was really from me, um, other than just uh, reiterating that there are plenty of wetlands in this area. And so if the board wanted to uh, consider having an additional wildlife study, wetland study done um, for this area, it might not be a bad idea. But it seems like the initial conversation with Army Corps and IFNW might be a good start with that. So. Yeah, we're, we, we know there's an issue there, so we're definitely going to try to head that off at the pass. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. That's all. Okay. okay. Anything else? <clears throat> no? no? All right. Thank okay. you. Great. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Appreciate it. All right. Next, I'll open the second public comment. All right. We'll close that. And then informational items. Oh, do you want to speak on the public comment? Um, you got to come to the mic and speak. Absolutely. Cameron Lane, um, 47 Alley Pond Road. Um, now, he's not answering any questions. You can no, only I'm make not comment. asking. Okay. Um, I have video footage of a Blanding's turtle laying a nest right in the road that Steve Brown has already improved. Okay. Um, Inland Fisheries is aware of it. They actually had them move the nest knowing that the potential of the road was going to be developed. They came out, they moved the nest to my property. I had hatchlings, I have them on video too with my trail camera, it was so cool. Um, but I have two adult um, Blanding's turtles that I've photographed and recorded, um, one laying the nest on that road and then the hatchlings on the edge of the pond. Okay. So I just want to let you know that there are there okay. documented. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Closing the public comment. Next is informational items. Peter, welcome to uh, Berwick. <laughs> Did you want to uh, say Thank anything? Because I know that you're going to be covering the first meeting, and Lee J is going to be covering the second meeting of the month. So, uh, did you just want to? You know, just touch base real quick with the board. Um, probably. Um. <laughs> <laughs> this is the time to do it if you want to right yeah. now. You know, give a little intro to yourself, and that's it. Yeah, I guess. Um, well, my name is Hannah Bonin. I've been with SMPDC for about four months, four and a half months now. Um, I've previous with the city of Biddeford. Um, I will be pretty much tag teaming, planning board stuff with Lee J, just juggling our schedules. Um, we'll try to keep it consistent as far as projects go, um, each doing the same types of reviews or the same reviews for one project all the way through if we can. Um, but as far as meetings, it'll be one of us at all of your meetings uh, for the time being. Aside from that, um, I'm also working on the comp plan, so I'll be learning a lot about Berwick um, nice. in the next few months. <laughs> <laughs> awesome thank you so she's going to be here the first meeting of the month and then lee j we we'll all know lee j will yep. be here the second meeting or he won't be here but right. he'll be via, via zoom, zoom. Yep. and uh you have me full time in the office to bounce nice. stuff off of now awesome. so yep. i could get in touch with them easily perfect great awesome yes yeah, thank you for coming on board hannah yeah, thank you thank you um next is the adjournment if there's no further items for consideration from the esteemed burgess <laughs> meeting room in the depths of the berwick town hall i'll make a motion to adjourn i'll second that motion okay all in favor all right good night thanks hannah